Hello everybody, we have a Samsung Galaxy A54, we will take it down, tear it down, we will disassemble it and see if it's gotten any better than the ones before. You know they are very, very soft, we had a lot of cold solder joints and stuff and just want to look inside and see how it looks, how you can replace the battery, how you can replace the charging port and complete disassembly. So let's just get it on. Put my face away, don't need that. sealed here it is package we don't care about the package just care about the phone and we're in, 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 in environment, environmental friendly must be a charging cable but no a charger we have a charging cable, a nice one. Good. So we know, now we know that. Let's proceed. So let's just have a quick look at it. Make a little bit more light. Um, order the green one because it looks nice. And everyone has black and gray. And we don't want what everyone has. That looks almost, I don't know if it's just polished uh, acrylic glass or if it's real glass. Um, it actually looks very nice. It has 128 gigabytes. Uh, we can of course turn it on if it works. Seems to work. Uh, we have a nice bezel, nice screen. Bezel could be a bit slimmer but I don't care about that personally. I think it looks pretty good. We have a solid. I don't know if this is metal. I think it's metal. Good clicks. Good clicking feel. Benvenuto. Good. It seems to work. Power it off. Yes, I'm sure. Three times to power it off. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the heating platform and heat it up so we can get that back cover off. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Gotta move it. I'm not moving too far because I don't want to damage the painting. Just enough that it can slip inside. Test, test. I've been interrupted. Jesus. Now it's cold again. Is it? Shouldn't be that hard to open. Let's just keep proceeding. I still don't know if this is plastic. It kind of feels like glass. Yeah, it's, no. Oh, it's plastic. I don't know. Okay. Carefully lift it up. Yeah, that's it, nothing. Adhesive is still very nice. So we can reuse that. Or what do you think? I mean, this phone isn't waterproof, so... Come on, focus. So we don't have to be too worried about that. It still looks nice. If it doesn't look nice, we can put a new one on, so... Good. That is the inside. We have a blue sticker here. So, all screws are out. So now we can take some plastic tool. Already lifted up here. Try carefully we can. Oh, forgot a screw. Not good. So, now this goes, works a little bit easier. Good. Here we have the speaker on top. Just connected with these two pins.
Then let's go on the bottom. Sometimes you have, you see that, a markings where we can sneak inside carefully with the right tools. Just lift it up like this. Very easy. No need to put force in there. So, another speaker, also two pins, nothing special. Let's have a look at the SIM tray. Um, but this isn't waterproof, so I don't think it has a special certificate, but I can be wrong. We have, we have a rubber. Let's have a quick look on the internet and see what we got. What does it have? Is it proof? Oh, dust and water resistant IP67. Good. Now we know that. That's why we have a rubber in here. Um, I'm not sure if the 53 also had this, but well, it is what it is. Good. Good to know. So, now let's disconnect first the battery. If we can. Much too easy here. Here we have a microphone hole. Here we have another hole here too. Two holes. Maybe if one is for um, separation for noise. Noise cancellation, they call that. We have here a nice uh, fingerprint sensor. And yeah, it's, it's, let's just take the flex cable out. I'm always starting from the side, so I don't destroy the connectors. Nice, good. Now, what if... No, let's just take the two boards out first. Here we have one screw and this board has also one screw. There are two black screws, not like the other one, they were silver. Kind of feels a little bit more high quality. I'm not sure if this one is solid than the older ones. Probably there's not much different. We have here metal. So let's disconnect the scanner. Also can, can take a quick look under the microscope just to have a look at the board. As it looks like. So that's the charging board. And antenna, screen stuff, signal. We have a big uh, microphone here. The number on it, what is it? I don't know if that is important. Good. Top. Three cameras, three real cameras, another mic here, selfie camera. That is, I don't know what that is. Maybe a camera driver.
Yeah, that's it. Power button, volume button. Here we have access to the LCD in case, you know, may could have happened something. I mean, it doesn't happen very often that you have a, well, no picture. Maybe you have a shorted cap. So you could replace that. Maybe, well. Charging port. Let's take out the fingerprint. Scanner. Here we have a little gap. We can move inside. Lift it up just like that. Oops. Try it around a little bit. Good. That's what it looks like. Just a tiny camera. So, let's take the boards out. Antenna. One. Two. Three. Four. I should be able to lift that board up. Let's use a little bit of heat. We may have to put the screen to the side first. Stick with adhesive. On the board. I can lift that up. Good. Leave the antennas here. Let's take out the main board. Where's the best spot? Here we have some kind of gap. Put it here. Yes. Nothing special here, very similar to the other ones before, 53, 52, whatever. So let's see if how hard it is to take the battery out, charging port. Let's see if we can get that out easily. Here we have something with pull strap, which is new. Samsung really didn't bother about that. A series, so we can pull that out. Let's see if that goes easy or if it's struggling. Oh, it's hard. So let's use some alcohol, like always. So let's see if alcohol done its job. I have it laid here for five minutes. Let's try that again. Can hear it. It's gonna be gentle. I don't want to bend the battery. That's it. Yeah. Let's have a look at the soldering on the FPC. I'd like to see that if they've done a good job. Is it quality soldering or is it just meant to be broken? So as we can see here, there's really enough soldering here. Very pretty job, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna put it back together. If you want, you can stay. If not, you can leave. And thank you for watching and see you next time. And if you like the stuff, please give me a subscriber more or less. Yeah, let's put it back together. So, phone is still working. Uh, that was the disassemble video. I uh, hope you're gonna, you have enjoyed it as I did. And yeah, if you like this stuff, 
uh, normally I don't do normal uh, uh, disassembly is uh, useless, uh, but yeah, I wanted to see how it did looks inside and some of you may be interested in that and yeah, that's it. That's the video. Uh, complete disassemble guide, battery replacement, part replacement, how to open it up, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.